Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever uh, on this new channel that I've just created, Big Man Corpy. Uh, I've never done a video on my own before on YouTube, so this is my first video. Uh, today we're going to be discussing Indian sticks. Here is my adult female one. Right here, not too big, but not too small. You can see she's an adult female. Actually, we'll talk about why she is an adult female a little bit later in the video. Uh, but yeah, um, before we do talk about them, just climbing up my arm. Before we do talk about them, uh, uh, can I ask you a real quick favor? Um, please, if you do enjoy watching, please subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and you can always unsubscribe later when you want to. Uh, so let's discuss these blighters. So we've got their tank right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look inside. Over there you can see there's ones hanging on the wall. Sorry, there's traffic around. Sorry about that, that's the background noise. I actually can't find my tripod. Um sadly so um i'm going to have to do this with one hand hopefully i'll find it by next video but by next video it will be my birthday which is good which i'll probably get a new one probably you know it's coming up in like a week so yeah um i'm pretty excited for that i'll probably also be getting for my birthday a macro lens and yeah so let's jump into what we're gonna do inside the tank you can see that right there is the one we just picked up as you can see there are nymphs in this tank and there are tons of them you can see there's one there one there one there and absolutely loads all the way down here it's when eating uh the rose i put out for them there I'm not sure they meant to eat rose. I completely mistaked it for bramble because I am a bit stupid. So put bramble in if you can, but I got rose. They still eat it. Uh, so yeah. Um, here is a couple of sheds right down there. Um, if I zoom in a bit more. There's a stick insect that is shedding its skin. Perfect timing for the video, actually, because I wanted to talk about that. So when they're shedding the skin, you should never touch a stick insect that's shedding its skin uh, because it could harm them. Just like if you're keeping tarantulas, um, you know, you should never play with them because they're very vulnerable when they are shedding their skin. I'm pretty sure. You can see there's a skin shed down there. And there's one stick and tape right here, my chillons and bravo. Um, there are loads all the way around here. Don't know if you can see that, but there's one right there. And there is one right Yeah, That is what they look like eating. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> Got some pretty good shots of that one eating, which is pretty funny. Uh, there is one, I think this one, maybe, down here was shedding its skin. I don't know if it already shedded, might have done, probably did. Yeah, that guy's shedded already. Uh, so when they're shedding their skins, uh, another few facts. They, if they've lost a leg, your stick insect, Indian one, has lost a leg in the next shed, it may well grow that leg back. Uh, um, as I said, they about double in size every shed, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see they love climbing across the leaves. And there is quite a few around here. Now I'm going to talk about uh, setup and how I set up the tank. Uh, bear in mind that none of this is necessary and you can go really cheap with these stick insects, such as a large old sweet jar. 
uh, these types of ones, obviously, you, you know. Uh, sticks are one of the easiest pets to keep, at least this species is. Um, I've just got them in a tank right here. Um, I've put this log out, hoping they would molt on it, but they're more like molting on the leaves. Or I put tights on the top, like old tights um, on the top. Uh, hoping they hang from it and molt on there. Put this log out because they like climbing on it. I I did explain that I put it out um, for purposes of them molting on it like a second ago, but I also uh, use it for them to just, you know, climb on, have fun. I put this little rock out hoping they would climb on it. Um, a mussel uh, there with a tree, a little little branch. So lots of them like going on that little branch. As you can see, the bramble setup is pretty darn easy. You just need a little pot that's not going to tip over, and um, they'll just eat the plant that you've put in. Did I say the bramble setup? I meant the plant setup. I think I said the bramble setup, which is a bit weird. Uh, I don't know why I said that. They don't need to have bramble, but I'll put the plants that they can eat on the screen right now. Also, uh, I forgot to do this at the start. Yeah, so this is their sort of enclosure-based setup and um, all that, really. Um, right here, we have a freshly molted one. You can tell because how large it is compared to that other guy. This one is still molting, as you can see right there. And um, we've got a couple. Is, is this one freshly malted? Um, might be. I'm not really sure. That one definitely is right there. Um, oh, here. Yeah. This is perfect. This. Don't worry, I can crush it. This is stick insect skin. Uh, shedded skin from a stick insect. Probably. Uh, that one over there, uh, that we just saw. This, yeah, this is what their skin looks like. Weird, huh? You can kind of see the shape of the stick insect in there. So I'm going to plop that back in. And, um... Oh, well, they do like to hitch a ride on my biggest one. Also, note that I am going to be separating these into groups of five in different tanks uh not that many tanks so that i have space to keep other species of slick insects and other buggy pets you know this right here is a uh stick insect egg and uh that bit there closest to my finger now my dirty finger now that will get eaten by the ants so ants will bring it into their nest in the wild obviously and you probably thought I was weird when I just went, that will get eaten by some ants. So the ants in the wild will eat this stuff, uh, the stuff off the end, and the stick insect will hatch in the ant's nest, disguised as an ant, and the ants will just let it walk out on its own in the wild. So that's how it hatches in the wild. Just wanted to explain that to you. To spot the stick insect eggs or over, I would recommend putting on kitchen towel instead of substrate, which means dirt. I would recommend putting kitchen towel on the bottom so you can find the eggs easier. However, this won't apply to every species of stick insect, but if you're getting Indian ones, I would recommend putting kitchen towel on the bottom, like I've done right here. And clean it out regularly. As you can see, this really needs cleaning. That's only because this is a temporary enclosure. But yeah, back to the video. Before I do end the video, I want to say that the stick insect means two things. One, uh, that obviously it looks like a stick. And two, um, they stick. You can see there are tiny little hooks on there. They don't hurt. Some of the biggest spe species will, like... They will not hurt, but like prick a little more. Uh, this species doesn't hurt at all. You can feel it though, that they are sticky. As you can see, that's how they climb.
but yeah. I just want to explain that my channel doesn't just do bugs. Um, even though it looks like it does, because my first video is about bugs. I'm going to do a mixture of gaming vlogs with my friends and bugs. Uh, half of it's going to be bugs, and uh, one quarter and another quarter are going to be gaming vlogs. So I'm going to put this dude back. Uh, this dudette <laughs> back. I don't know. It's a girl, so... Uh, special thanks to Bug Realms for helping me learn all this information. It's a really underrated channel that I think you should check out. He keeps stick insects just like these, but look, some of them are a lot cooler. Um, yeah, and he done a video all about them. Go check him out. I would uh, consider subscribing to him because he's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put this, put this stick back and I'll see you guys next time.